Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for March. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, this is being recorded in February. March has not happened yet, so you could call this a preview or whatever. It could resonate now, but it may not resonate till March. It may not resonate till the end of March. But it may resonate whenever, you know, whatever. So, keep in mind that this reading may not be for you. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. Then we're going to use this deck right here. Um, temperance. Patience. There could be some overindulgence here that needs to be dealt with. Maybe you're going through some sort of transition in your life. There could be some addictions that are in the way. You know, this is a card of purpose. This is a card of healing. So perhaps you are needing to heal from something. I don't know. Whatever is happening, there's a change happening because this is a card of change, of evolving. So you could be also receiving some sort of blessing, okay? Because a rainbow is a sign of a blessing. It's a sign of peace. So you may be feeling more at peace. Maybe you're receiving some sort of blessing. I don't know. Change is happening. Some sort of positive change is happening, okay? For the better, something is happening for the better, but you gotta you gotta be gentle on yourself, and you gotta have patience with yourself. Everything happens at the right time for the right reason, right? I mean, that's card of divine timing. So, something could be coming into play because the time it's the right time. You know that could be the case. I'm only gonna get one of these. So we're not going to, that was a few, so we're just going to keep going. One card for Pisces. Now this is a card of balance as well. Maybe some sort of balance is being restored. You know, this is definitely a peaceful card, so finding peace in some way. Oh, broken heart. Yikes. Huh. Well. painful painful you may be experiencing some pain this month there could be some sort of rejection or something I'm not sure um, somebody I'm not sure what this is but I mean that's painful seeping I mean something could be changing in your life um, that really breaks your heart and you need to heal from it I mean it could be a time of healing because of a broken heart that you have encountered you know um, It's a time of healing. It is. It's a time of healing that broken heart. So this, I mean, I'm not sure when this broken heart is, is has happened, you know, or what, but it's definitely a time of healing, okay? There's no doubt about that. Whew. That just about broke my heart. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why. Anyhow, um, son of a gun. <laughs> moving, moving on. Somebody is moving on. Somebody is moving in a new direction. And maybe that's why you have a broken heart. Maybe somebody has decided to move on from you or you're deciding to move on this is this is headed out it is somebody's traveling to a new destination they're moving on somebody is moving 
could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be dealing with a cancer, we have Sagittarius up here, somebody has chosen a new path, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well, somebody's chosen a new path, and maybe you need to choose a new path, whatever this is, you have a decision to make, do you stay where you're at, or do you move forward, but I feel like somebody, you're the one with the broken heart, that's you. I feel like you are dealing with somebody that has decided to move on. They're 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 gone. They're gone. Or they're going. They're taking a new adventure. Now this could be you taking on this energy, going a new going down that new path. This could go multiple directions, you know. Somebody is deciding to go down a new path, but that is your card. These two cards are yours. A lot of people want to deny their true feelings. They do. They don't want to. They don't want to accept the pain. They don't want to deal with the pain. They lie about it. No, that's your broken heart. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Oh, the King of Pentacles reverse. Justice, karma. Karma is absolutely a bitch. Um, whoo, something is dying. Something has died. The passion has died. There's no more spark. There's no more life left in a situation. Somebody didn't reciprocate. They did not get what they deserved out of a situation. The Six of Pentacles is touching the Justice card. This is, look at, there's, there's scales in this one. There's scales in this one. Somebody didn't get what they deserved. Somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And now it's like there's an opportunity of abundance, stability, loss, financial loss. Uh, karma works in mysterious ways. I feel as though there's been a loss of revenue, um, a loss of money of some sort, a loss of, of desire. You know, uh, something is happening here. Some it's like the, some some sort of fire is being put out, like for good. It's like the minute it hits the ground, it's over whatever this is it's over yeah there's definitely a loss a financial loss here there's no doubt there's financial loss here big time big time financial loss a loss of a goal loss of money and it's because of karma when you don't act with integrity you know karma is absolutely a bitch but um So I'm not saying that it was you. You could be somebody else. There's been a financial loss here. There has been a financial loss. It's like then now the final decision has been made as well. This is a final decision because somebody didn't act with integrity. <laughs> I didn't even, when I said that, I wasn't even looking at this card. That's funny. Somebody didn't act with integrity. They didn't, and... <laughs> You know, now there, there's a financial loss here. There's a, there's, I mean, I don't even think I picked up this card. We have the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the King of Pentacles reversed, the Six of Pentacles reversed, the Four of... Somebody is losing some sort of stability that... <laughs> they gave up on it, okay? They gave up on it. They didn't do the right thing. They chose another path. And now you're going to have to heal from this or heal from this situation. You're going to have to evolve from this. You're going to have to learn from this. You know, there's definitely a loss of, of money here for some reason. And I think it's because somebody moved in a new direction probably pretty quickly. And now they're overwhelmed. Now they're overwhelmed and it's time to make a conscious change to drop something. I mean, this is dropping something, breaking free. Somebody is breaking free and it's breaking your heart. Somebody has made a change. And maybe they're dropping you. For good. Somebody is dropping out of this race. That's what's happening here. Huh? No longer even attracted. No more attraction. No more desire to, to put in any. No more flame. No more stability. 
Now these are both tens reversed. You may be... Your living circumstances may be changing. Okay? Something is being removed that is heartbreaking. Somebody's given up. Somebody is giving up the fight. Can't do it anymore. Closing this chapter for good. Because they see that you're not well suited or they're not well or you you see that they're not well suited somebody some this, this somebody is realizing that there's no growth here. There's not nothing positive to hold on to here. We got somebody here that is immature, somebody that doesn't have any ability to follow through with their actions. You may be receiving some unwelcome news that um, makes you feel confused, that, you know, brings you down. I think that you are. I think you're going to be, I'm sorry to give you this kind of message, but I mean, I can't, I can't make that shit up. I think you're going to receive some sort of communication or message, or you may even see something that maybe it brings you to your knees. And it breaks your heart. Knight of Cups. You will have support though. This is emotional support. You know, this is this is an offer of emotional support. Somebody could be coming in to help you. You could receive some sort of help from somebody. You may be feeling really emotional at this time. It's something, there could be some intense emotions during this time. Whatever you are, whatever this is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you to break free from something. It really is. It's going to bring you to a better place. It is. It is. It's going to help you to get unstuck. It's going gonna, it's gonna to free you from that mental prison that you've been in. It may hurt. This probably is going to hurt. But it's going to break you free and it's going to help you to evolve to get, it's going to bring you peace in the long run, okay? This broken heart is going to bring you peace. And I know that's hard to understand, but that is the truth here. You know, it's like you're going to, you're letting go of... You know, this is turning silver into gold. So whatever is breaking your heart isn't the best option anyway. I'm sorry to say that. But because you have a better option up here. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like whatever is happening you're remo is, is removing you from something that isn't well suited for you. The page of wands reverse is somebody that isn't well suited for you. And heading you towards something that is. So, and this is what I got here. I feel like you are going to experience some sort of... I mean, this is painful. It is painful. And you're going you're gonna to have to, you know, find your strength to stand back up on your feet. Make that conscious change to just let this situation go that was weighing you down anyway because it wasn't well suited for you whatever it is it was costing you money too whatever this was whatever this was it wasn't financially stable and it was bringing you down it really was it was costing you a lot it cost you a lot a lot big mistake anyhow I can see that so anyway um now there's an opportunity to heal a situation you know and get to that gold, whatever that gold is to you. But in order to do that, you're going to have to probably drop something, really drop it. You know, pick yourself back up, stand on your two feet. And this is like, get on your horse. This is probably you, the Knight of Cups. Get on your horse and trot on out of there, <laughs> whatever that is. This is a painful, stressful decision. You can't avoid the truth anymore. This is somebody who's been trying to avoid the truth in denial, lying to themselves. <laughs> oh God. 
blocking the truth, avoiding the truth, but knowing the truth, but not, not expressing the truth because, well, it's better to just protect, protect my heart than to tell the truth, right? Well, karma sees that shit. Anyway, um, so anyway, we have somebody here that is in the process of accepting the truth, probably because they don't have any other choice. I think that blindfold is about to be ripped right off. So, um, I really do. I feel like there's about to be some sort of truth that is given to you in a difficult way. It's probably going to bring you right to your knees. And, um... <laughs> Somebody is giving up. Somebody's giving up. They're no, there's no more. They're just leaving. They're not. I'm not going to put in any more effort. There's lack of respect. There's lack of communication. There's lack of togetherness. Somebody isn't putting in any work, and it's like it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go off for my love someplace else, for real. So I feel like justice is about to be served, whether it's in your favor or the other person's favor. Karma, karma is about to be served but whatever this karma is it's going to lead you to a better place it is it is because you've been in a situation where it's been it's gone you've gone south okay with this has gone south alone the ace of wands reversed has gone south but all these pentacle cards reversed three i mean if i picked them all up you have had a huge financial loss and it's because of integrity it's because of actions it's because of impulsiveness it's it's because of blocking your true feelings trying to escape i mean this is escaping as well somebody has tried to escape the reality of how they truly feel whatever anyway I feel like in March you are going to feel some sort of pain unfortunately but this pain that you are dealt is gonna lead you to something better it's the truth you're gonna have to take time to heal you're gonna have to probably um, make some compromises because this is compromises there could even be a reconciliation here I don't know what the hell that is you could be dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius that is giving up on you no more desire no more no more drive no more no more ambition no more anything you know I'm just nothing nothing um, could be anybody I think that you got somebody that is totally 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 no longer focused at all period definitely loss of financial abundance this, you know, I feel like somebody is absolutely giving up. They have no more desire to play anymore. I'm done. No more. No more. And, and I feel that because there's been some poor decisions here, avoidance, avoidance of truth, trying to prove yourself, to prove a point. This is proving a point, seriously. Nine of Wands, trying to prove yourself. Now it's like there's been a huge loss. Huge, huge, huge loss. Um, we have the Six of Cups on the bottom, which is somebody from your past. You know, I really feel like somebody is going in a new direction. And it's a huge loss for you. It's going to force you to change. Or it's going to help you to change. Whatever is happening, it is, it is going to... There's a purpose for it. There's a reason. 
This is the card of evolving, of changing, becoming a better person. So this broken heart. It's going to bring about a change. It's a good thing because at this point, your revenue, your money, your abundance is slipping away. And it's slipping away because of dishonesty and lack of integrity. I'm sorry, I can't I can't make that shit up. Six of cups. Memories, a lot of memories are going to come up for some reason. Memories are going to resurface. And this does have to do with past. You know, karma may kick you in the ass 10 years after you do the deed. But it will kick you in the ass. Let's get one of these. I really feel like... There's a painful end here. There's a painful end, but it's it's going to change you. Okay? It's going to change you for the better. It is going to change you for the better. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Listen to your intuition. You know what you got to do. So I feel like this is a month of probably healing a broken heart. Heading in a new direction, perhaps getting to a better place after a very significant loss. Be patient because you are going to receive a blessing out of this no matter what. No matter what, you are going to receive a blessing. Whatever that blessing is, I don't know. But this is probably, I mean, this isn't a rainbow butterflies kind of month. It's not. There's no love in these cards. No ace of cups. There's no two of cups. There's no ten of cups. There's no lover's card. It's, 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 it's a loss. It's a loss. It's heartbreaking. Indecision? Damn. You know, I said in one of my readings, tomorrow isn't promised. You should know that. Good luck.